So there's about 60 seats. There's banquette seating, there's normal dining room seating. We also have the bar, which has 22 seats. Parks and Recreation Director Kevin Abate shows the inside of the soon to be completed restaurant and bar at Sailfish Sands Golf Course. Full fledged restaurant, open to the public. Um, of course, they have those beautiful hidden bays in the back. The two story hitting bays will be powered by top tracer golf ball tracking technology. The bays will look out over the driving range and television monitors at each station will digitally show you where you hit your ball. There is the virtual golf. You can play any golf course in the world. Down below near the bays is a new more traditional driving range. This is also equipped with the high tech golf ball tracking technology. Users can download an app and track their shots right on their phone. He says all of these upgrades are just part of the plan to get and keep people interested in the game of golf. We just want to have something that everyone could play and not be intimidated as a place to have your first golf course experience. Originally built in the 1920s, the course has gone through many versions over the last century. Owned by the county for decades, the Parks Department only took over the day-to-day -day operations in 2015. We soon realized what golf was on its decline. Uh, the facility was aging, so the county and the and through broad and unanimous support from our elected officials had made the investment into the future of golf is what we did. The original 36 holes here were reduced to 27. A new and unique nine hole reversible course was added. So we designed a facility that is an easier golf course to play for beginners. So we have tee boxes uh, for any level of golfer. The Sands Gold and Black are the new nine hole courses. The 18-hole championship course was renamed Sailfish 18. New cart paths were laid and invasive plants and trees were removed. The golf course was designed to uh, use as little irrigation as, as we could. What does need irrigating comes from wells and lakes on the course. However, during droughts, those lakes can dry up. A collaboration between the Parks Department and the Public Works Department solved that. Behind me is a small section of the Willoughby Creek stormwater treatment area. And what's interesting about it, beyond the fact that it treats millions of gallons of stormwater runoff from the surrounding neighborhood, is that the golf course has actually tapped into the STA. And during dry times, they're able to pump water out to irrigate the grass here. Kevin says they're being environmentally responsible while building the game. Our goal for this facility is to have a golf course for all ages. We have the Championship 18. We have the only reversible nine-hole course in Florida. We also have the grass tee range and the hitting base. So we believe that we could put golf clubs in the hands of all generations based on what we've built.